folks and welcome back to the Australian Kindred Shed. Today we're going to be installing the rear door speakers into the Land Cruiser 200 series. This is where the speaker is in the rear door. We'll take off the door card. We've got our trim removal tools and our screwdriver. So these are the speakers we're going to be installing today. They're Pioneer 6.5 inch 320 watt speakers. They come with the door spaces and I will drop the link down below in the description so you can find them if you want to order these ones yourselves. So first off we need to remove this uh, trim behind the door handle here. We'll use our tool. As you can see here, you'll need to remove the door handle cover to access the door card retaining screws. So that comes out quite easy. Now we just need to remove the ashtray and window door switch panel, and that's pretty simple. I'll just show you how to do that. And it just lifts up from the corner here, comes out. There's a little plug on the back. It's not too much drama to pull that out. We'll set that aside. So now we just got to pop off this little light. It's relatively easy and there's a little plug in there. Just comes out just like that. Pull the plug out. So you've just got a couple of screws to pull out here now. This one behind the door handle. And there's uh, one in there, and there's uh, one in there as well. And now we're ready to uh, pull the door trim off. So you should be able to just get your hands under here, pull that out. At this stage here, it's a good idea to wind the window down so the door card can be removed with ease. And so now we should be able to just lift this off nice and gently. You can see here the door handle wires. We've just uh, disconnected those from the door handle, it's quite simple. And we'll move the door card, put it somewhere safe. So you can see here the speaker, there's a plug in the speaker, we should be able to push the little clip in the side here and pull that out, tuck it up out of the way, it's just a few screws holding the speaker in. So light. Well, wow. right then. So we'll just unveil the speakers from the box. We'll give you a look at them. So it comes with the speaker spacer in the box. This is the speaker. It's a three-way speaker. So a lot better quality. I'll show you the old one. Here's the old one. It is so much lighter than the new one that I'm putting in. If I turn it around, you can see the difference in magnets on the back of these. This, this, this old one's quite tiny. I've never actually seen anything like that before, but so we'll prep these up and we'll get them in the car. So I'm going to solder these speakers in like we've done in the past. 
I reckon that's the best connection you can get is by using the solder, so. So we just need to wrap, stick the wire through the hole and wrap it around the tab. We'll get some heat into the whole thing here. Looks to be soldered on quite well. I'll take it to the door and put it in. The speaker spacers are designed for different applications and in this case here we will not require these tabs. So I pulled these two little spacers off so it would sit flush against the mount. I don't think there's anything stopping us from screwing that in right now. So that's in place there now. We'll, uh, Put this little tab here, the speaker wire relief. And it's going to sit like so. So we've got our little screws here that come with the packet. The speaker should be in there pretty sturdy now. And we'll, uh, we'll cut this plug off and we'll solder the wires together there as well. Trim the plastic off to access the speaker wire. We'll just strip that now. You can see how I fan that out. Just get some length and try and cut it off so it's not too much slack once we've joined it. So I'll try and fan these two out like so. Put them like that and then just twist them together. Keeping the, trying to keep the insulation at the same even length. Just like that. And what we've got to try and do is get some heat into the wire. So the solder will melt through the wire. Careful not to drop any solder on the speaker here while you're doing this. That's that. Simple as that. Trim that one off a bit. So we just tape these up individually so they don't short each other out. Alright, so I've got the heat shrink on there. So here we are using the heat gun attachment for our gas soldering iron. It's a very handy little tool. So, we should never have any connection problems there. So that's it, wired up, bolted in. We'll put the door trim back together and we'll give it a test out. <laughs> So now we'll put the door card back on, put the levers up. This bit is a little tricky. Be sure to take your time here. Back in. 
we'll just clip some pieces back in. It all goes together quite easy. It's the end of our rear door speaker install. Hopefully you can do that yourself now. Those speakers were like 100 bucks and they make a big difference to the sound quality when you're traveling. I hope you like what we're doing. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll keep making these videos for you and bringing these tips. We'll see you next time.